about to say one accord. DOF choir. Let's appreciate the DOF choir. To Afrahie, DOF choir yetu. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Get yourself comfortable. Ujipate kuwa na starehe. If you are not comfortable where you are, I give you permission to move. Kama haujastarehe kama hali umekia tinakupa ruhusa ya kuondoka. Because when I start speaking you will not move. Kwa sababu nikianza kuhubiri hautasonga. So this is the time to move. Hebo hundo wakati wa kusonga. Know your neighbor. Ujue umfahamu jirani yako. Know the lady seated to your left and to your right. Umfahamu dada aliyeketi kulia na kushoto. She might just be holding your miracle. Wenda yeye ameshikilia mujiza wako. Tell her who you are. Mwambie wewe ni nani? What do you do? Wewe unafanya nini? If you're in business, exchange your cards. Kama uko kwa biashara, mbadilishane kadi. If you're looking for a job, tell them you're looking for a job. Kama wewe unatafuta kazi, mwambie unatafuta kazi. Get to know them. Pata kumjua. If there is something you like about that lady, tell her. Kama kuna kitu unapendezwa kwa huyo dada, mwambie. Wengine wananiangalia. Angalia your neighbor. Look at your neighbor. If you like her hair, appreciate her. Kama unapenda nywele yake, mpende mpongeze. Maybe it's her dress. Labda ni mavazi yake. Don't be jealous. Usikuwe na wivu. Tell her you like her dress. Mwambie unapenda mavazi yake. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. What I've discovered kila nimegundua is that God works through men. Ya kwamba Mungu hufanya kazi kupitia wanadamu. And when I say men I mean male female. Nikisema wanadamu ni wake kwa waume. So when he wants to bless you. Kwa hivyo akitaka kukubariki he will look for someone. Atatafuta mtu who is holding what you need. Anayeshikilia kile unahitaji. And he'll use that person to reach you. Na atatumia huyo mtu kukufikia. So don't ignore men. Kwa hivyo usiwapuuze wanadamu. Don't ignore that lady sitting next to you. Usipuuze huyo dada aliyeketi karibu na wewe. Maybe there is something she knows that it is what you need. Labda kuna kitu anajua na ndicho unachohitaji. Me I'm already preaching. <laughs> Mimi tayari nishaanza kuhubiri. God works through men. Mungu fanya kazi kupitia wanadamu. To bless kutubariki amen amen i don't have much time sina muda mwingi so i'll try to move very fast and give you what god put in my heart kwa hivyo nitajaribu kusonga kwa kasi na niwapatie kilicho ndani ya moyo wangu mungu alichonipa but i want to appreciate all of you lakini nataka kuwapongeza kila mmoja wenu and all the leaders na viongozi wote for organizing this conference. Kwa kupangilia kongamano hili. It's not an easy task. Sio kazi rahisi. I've been in communication with Reverend Eunice. Nimekuwa kwenye mawasiliano na Kasisi Eunice and I can tell you it's not an easy task. Na naweza kueleza sio kazi rahisi. To be able to gather this multitude of women. Kuweza kukusanya umati huu wa wanawake. Help me to appreciate Reverend Eunice. Nisaidie kumpongeza Kasisi Eunice and her entire leadership. Na uongozi wake wote. Eunice we appreciate you. Yunisi tunakupongeza. Na mali tunakukwaza unatusamee tu. Neema imetosha, si ndio? Grace is sufficient. But grace is sufficient. Neema inatosha. There is a special group of women I want to appreciate. Kuna kikundi speciali cha wadada ambao ningetaka kuwapongeza. Women that came with their children. Wa mama ambao wamekuja na watoto wao. If you are here with your child, just stand up. Kama uko hapa na mkuja na mtoto, si mama. Just stand. If you are here tu. with your baby, kama ulikuja na mtoto si mama. Look at those women. Angalia hao wa mama. Most of them are sitting near the door. Wengi wao wameketi karibu na mlango. Cuz any time they may need to exit. Kwa sababu wakati wote wao huenda wakaondoka. Help me to appreciate these women. Nisaidie kuwapongeza hawa wa mama. They decided waliamua their children will not be an excuse for them not to come. Watoto wao hawatakuwa kijisababu cha kutokuja. God bless you women, mothers. Mungu awabariki mama, wa mama. Receive double in Jesus name. Mpokee maradufu kwa jina la Yesu. For your sacrifices. Kwa ajili ya dhabihu zenu. And all of us we have sacrificed in one way or another. Na sisi wote tumetoa kidhabihu tumejitoa kidhabihu kwa njia moja ama nyingine. In one way maybe you closed your business to be here. 
Kwa njia moja labda ulifunga biashara kuwa hapa. Though something you needed to do you had to cancel. Kuna kitu ulihitaji kufanya ukafutilia mbali. Whatever the sacrifice. Chochote kile ulitoa dhabihu. May God reward you. Bwana akutunuku. Amen. Amen. I want to speak to us about being women of impact. Ningetaka kunena kwetu kwamba tuwe wanakuwa mwanamke mwenye uguzo. Today, leo. Not yesterday. Sio jana. Not the 80s. Sio miaka ya 80. But today, lakini leo. And our scripture or the theme of our conference and actually this year is threshing mountains na andiko letu la mwaka ni ama hata mada yetu ni kukupuna milima Isaiah 41:15 Isaiah 41:15 a scripture that we read we have, and even yesterday we read it with bishop george were you blessed by the bishop mulibarikiwa na askofu we thank God for him tunamshukuru Mungu kwa ajili yake reminding us that we need revival kutukumbusha ya kwamba tunahitaji ufufio and when i was listening to him alafu nilikuwa namsikiza this is what i had in my spirit hii ndio nilihisi ndani ya roho yangu that us ya kwamba sisi us the women that are here sisi wa mama ama wadada ambao tuko hapa we are to participate in the revival that is being spoken about tunapaswa kushiriki katika ufufio ambao unazungumziwa we are not going to be spectators hatutakuwa tu watu wa kujiangalilia mashabiki we will be part of the revival sisi tutakuwa sehemu ya ufufio and so when i looked at this scripture hivyo nilipoangalia andiko hili see i will make you into a threshing sledge tizama nitakufanya chombo cha kupura new and sharp ikiwa na makali with many teeth na kikiwa na meno mengi you thresh the mountains utayapura milima and crush them na kuyabonda and reduce the hills to chaff na kupunguza vilima kuwa upepo mountains is our focus milima ndiyo lengo letu and indeed there are many mountains that we need to thresh na kweli kabisa kuna milima mingi tunayohitaji kuyapura i actually remember during the apostolic visit in mombasa na kumbuka ule utembeleo wa kimitume pale mombasani bishop masinde said askofu masinde alisema that there are many mountains kwamba kuna milima mengi and you must be able to pick one mountain na lazima uweze ku chukua mlima moja and thresh it na uweze kuipura cuz you may not thresh all the mountains and he went on to explain na kwa sababu hauwezi ukapura milima yote na alielezea you might thresh the mountain of education labda utapura mlima wa elimu or religion there are many media there are many mountains ama mlima wa elimu ama milima mingi ni in mingi. prayer katika maombi chukua mlima but now to thresh this mountain lakini kuweza kupura hii milima the bible says i'll make you into a threshing sledge biblia inasema nitakufanya chombo cha kupura new and sharp chenye meno na nikipia and that is what i'll focus on na hiyo ndiyo nitakayolengea being an instrument ukiwa chombo that is sharp ambacho kina, nikikali that god can use ambacho mungu anaweza kutumia and all of us we can agree na sisi wote tunaweza kubaliana we want to be used by god tunahitaji kutumiwa na mungu if i was to ask how many all of you will lift up your hands kama ningeuliza ni wangapi wangetaka kutumiwa na mungu sisi wote tungeinua mikono and so i because i don't have much time i want to let you know na kwa sababu sina muda mrefu ningetaka kuwajulisha wherever you are kokote uliko where god has placed you mahali mungu amekuweka that is the area hiyo hilo ndilo eneo that is expecting you to make an impact ambalo anatarajia upate kuguza doing what you know best to do ukifanya kilicho bora kabisa unajua using the gifts and the talents that god has given you ukitumia vipawa na talanta ambazo mungu amekupatia using the platforms that god has given you ukitumia jukwaa ambazo mungu amekupatia and when i talk about platforms napongea kuhusu jukwaa i'm not talking about this altar siongei kuhusu madhabahu haya or the altar in your church ama madhabahu kanisani that is one of the many altars hiyo ni baadhi ya jukwaa nyingi your own family familia yako your children watoto wako 
can be a platform wanaweza kuwa jukwaa where you can make an impact mahali utaweza kuadhiri so it's not just for pastors kwa hivyo sio kwa wachungaji tu or pastors wives ama wake wa wachungaji it is for all the women ni wanawake wote wherever you are kokote uliko sharing your story what god has done for you ukishiriki hadithi yako kile mungu amekufanyia because all of us maana sisi wote have a story tuna hadithi have a testimony tunao shuhuda of what god has done for you ya kile bwana amekufanyia and i want to urge you na nataka kuwasihi do not be silent about your testimony usinyamazishwe kuhusu shuhuda zenu do not be silent about your stories usinyamazishwe kuhusu hadithi yako what god is doing on a daily basis in your life. Kile Mungu anafanya kwa kila siku maishani mwako. I'll give you just a short testimony of Takpatia my life. Takpatia ushuhuda mfupi kwa maisha yangu. That I I try and look for any platform. Ya kwamba mimi hujaribu kutafuta jukwaa lolote where I can speak. Mahali naweza kuzungumza. Because ladies let me tell you. Sababu wadada wacha niwaambie. Your voice is very powerful. Sauti yako ina nguvu. I'm not talking about this voice songe kuhusu hii sauti hii you and your thoughts and opinions and ideas and your testimonies wewe na mawazo yako na hata mafikira yako na ushuhuda wako your voice is very powerful sauti yako ina nguvu when a child is born wakati mtoto anazaliwa we have many mothers in the house tuna wamama wengi kwenye nyumba immediately the child is delivered Gafla tu mtoto anapozaliwa. What is the first thing that people are waiting for? Ni nini cha kwanza watu wanaotarajia? The cry of the baby. Kilio cha mtoto. And the cry of a baby na kilio cha mtoto announces kuwa kinatangaza. I am here now. Niko hapa sasa. If that baby does not cry, huyo mtoto asipolia, you will see the doctors up and down. Utawaona madaktari wakipanda na kushuka. Even worried, hata wakishangaa. I actually watched a video there uh, one of the days. Nimetazama uh, video siku moja wapo. Just on social media. Iko kwenye mitandao ya kijamii. Of this baby that is born, huyo mtoto aliyezaliwa, and for some reason it's not crying. Na kwa sababu fulani hakulia. And they were doing everything they could to make the baby cry na wakawa wanafanya chochote kusababisha mtoto kulia even slapping the baby on the buttocks Hata and behind kumpiga makofi nyuma huku kwenye mgongo shaking the baby like this picking it up and doing like this to make sure the baby cries wakitikisa huyo mtoto kumuinamisha kuhakikisha mtoto amelia and finally after a long time na hatimaye baada ya muda mrefu the baby let out a cry huyo mtoto akachilia kilio a voice sauti saying i have come kasema nimewasi so your voice is very powerful sauti yako ni muhimu sana do not be silent ladies usinyamazishwe wadada this is what i thought in my spirit yesterday actually when i was seated here hii ndio nilifikiria ndani ya roho yangu nikiwa nimeketi papa jana and the other, actually the day before yesterday na siku kabla ya jana i get a call nikapokea simu and this lady introduces herself na huyu dada akajitambulisha i don't know her mimi simfahamu and she tells me pastor joyce you don't know me akaniambia mchungaji joyce haunijui but i've watched you on facebook lakini nimekutizama kwenye mtandao wa, wa uso kitabu i backslid many years ago mimi nilirudi nyuma miaka mingi iliyopita i want to come back to the lord nataka kumrejea bwana pray for me niombe let me tell you wacha nikwambie i stopped everything i was doing nikaacha kila kitu nilikuwa nafanya and i sat down nikaketi and i took a few minutes to lead her to the lord nikachukua muda kumuongoza kwa bwana and told her what to do after that nikamweleza cha kufanya baada ya hiyo and i thought about that nikafikiria kuhusu hilo many times and many, maybe many some of you i will not say all of you some of you that have seen me on facebook mara nyingi sitasema nyinyi wote lakini baadhi yenu ambao wameniangalia kwenye facebook i want to be honest nataka kuwa wa ukweli you probably not seen me preaching labda haujaniona nikihubiri you've seen me doing funny things umeniona nikifanya mambo ya kuchekesha funny things mambo ya kuchesha funny videos a video za kufurahisha how you can cook pa- pancakes vile unaweza kupika pancakes how you can cook whatever you have seen me say 
vile unaweza pika chochote umeona nikisema but somebody watches me lakini kuna mtu ananitazama and feels this is the woman that i want her to lead me to christ na akahisi huyu ndiye nataka niongoze kuja kwa kristo if i had not gone on facebook kama sikuwa nimeenda kwa facebook probably that lady her soul would have lost be lost labda nafsi yake ingepotea there are many platforms kunazo jukwa nyingi pick chukua which you will use Ile so that you can be heard utatumia upate kusikika the revival we are speaking about ufufio ambao tunazungumza kuhusu it's just where you are ni mahali wewe uko sometimes when we hear revival wakati mwingine tukisikia ufufio we think of a church tunafikiria jengo la kanisa and we think being on a pulpit and holding a mic na kufikiria kusimama kwenye jukwaa kushika kipasa sauti but even there in the market lakini pale hata huko sokoni when you are doing your business ukifanya biashara zako of selling tomatoes or whatever you are selling ama wewe unauza nyanyama chochote ambacho unauza you can share your story unaweza shiriki hadithi ya ladies are we together wadada tuko pamoja open your mouth fungua kinywa chako let people know what god has done wacha watu wajue kile Mungu amekufanyia a few years ago miaka baadhi iliyopita i put out my story nikaweka hadithi yangu wazi which most of you know ambao wengi wenyu mnaifahamu and i put it on youtube nikaweka kwenye youtube and i just put it there i don't know where it went but i just put it there nili niliweka tu pale na sijui ilienda wapi niliweka tu pale then last year alafu mwaka jana a lady called me dada akanipigia simu she told me i don't know you you don't know me akaniambia wewe haunijui but i'm so and so lakini mimi ni fulani wa pastor's wife in uk na ni mke wa mchungaji pale uingereza and she told me i hold a uh, ladies conferences here in the UK akaniambia mimi hupata kusanyiko za wadada hapa uingereza and for a long time na kwa muda mrefu the single ladies wale ambao hawako kwenye ndoa especially wadada, 35 and above ambao wamepita miaka 35 they are always complaining huwa wanalalamika that i don't bring them a speaker ya kwamba mimi siwaletei mhubiri and i have never found someone to speak to them sijawahi kupata mtu wa kuwazungumzia and so i've been in prayer kwa hivyo nimekuwa kwenye maombi and then my sister halafu dada yangu who is in the us aliye marekani sent me a video akanitumia video where you are sharing your story mahali ulikuwa unashiriki hadithi yako and when i listened to the story ni the story kiza hadithi yako I knew in my spirit. Nikajua ndani ya roho yangu. You are the person to speak to these ladies. Wewe ndiwe utawazungumzia. So can you come? Je, kwa hivyo unaweza kuja? Ask her where. Nikamuuliza wapi? UK, Uingereza. United Kingdom, Uingereza. I ask her me. Nikamuuliza <laughs> mimi. She said yes you. Akasema ndio wewe. And it took me a bit of some time. Nikachukua muda ikanigarimu muda to, to take that in. Kuweza kupokea hiyo. That of all the people maybe she knows and who are in the world and who can speak. Ya kwamba kati ya watu wote anajua na walio kwenye ulimwengu wanaweza kunena. She picked on me. Alinichagua mimi. Because of my story. Kwa sababu ya hadithi yangu. Your story, your testimony is powerful. Hadithi yako, ushuhuda wako una nguvu. Do not be silent. Usinyamaze. Even if you are not saying go on YouTube and all that as we are in the IT era but even sharing with people hata kama haujaingia kwenye mitandao kushiriki tu na watu sisi tuko kwenye IT kushiriki na watu tu and so two weeks ago na kwa hivyo wiki mbili zilizopita i just came back from the uk nimetoka uingereza Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm not here to brag. Mimi siko hapa kuringa. I know you people you know me. I'm not bragging. Na mnanijua mimi siringi. I'm also sharing my testimony. Hata mimi nashiriki ushuhuda wangu. And she told me I want you to come. Akaniambia nataka uje. I asked her, "Are we coming with the bishop?" Nikamuuliza anakuja na askofu. She said, "No, no, no, you." Akasema, "Hapana wewe." Whole trip paid for. Nikiwa nimelipiwa nauli yote ya ndege. Your story will take you far. Hadithi yako itakupeleka mahali. Your story bari. will take you where you have never thought you will go. Hadithi yako itakupeleka mahali haujawahi fikiria utaenda. It's not about us. Kwa sababu sio kuhusu sisi. It's about what God has done in your life. Ni kuhusu kile Mungu amefanya maishani mwako. And somebody else will listen to that story. Na mwingine atasikiza hiyo hadithi and decide 
I want your God. Na amue, nataka mungu wako. Ladies, do not be silent. Wadada, Pastors, wives in the house, just wave at me. Pastors, wives in the house. Hey, ninyi Wake water. wa wachungaji. Ninyi ndio mejaza hall. Bona asifiwe. Amen. Do not be silent. Msinyamazishwe. In your church, there is only one platform. Kanisani kwenyu kuna jukwatu moja. And there is only one priest. Na kuna kuhani moja. Who is your husband? Nani mumeo. Bless the Lord when you are given an opportunity to speak. Mbariki buwana ukipewa fursa ya kunena. But even when you don't get the opportunity. Lakini hata usipo pata hiyo fursa. Because he has many sermons to preach. So you may not get that much opportunity. Kwa sababu wakona jumbe nyingi za kubiri huenda usipata hiyo fursa. May the Lord help you. Na umba buwana kusaidie. To see other opportunities. Kuona fursa nyingi zingine. You have a message that God has given you. Una ujumbe amba mungu wa mekupatia. Look for a platform to preach that message message. Be a woman of impact. What is impact? Creating a forceful shock. Kuleta mshangao wa kushtua. Yani something that will shock people or shake the nations. Jambo ambalo lita shtua watu ama mataifa. Making a lasting impression. Kuleta ile hali ya kuwadhiri kwa kudumu. Having a positive effect. Kuwa na athari ya ilio nzuri. And being a a person of influence na kuwa mtu ambaye anaadhiri when you are a person of influence ukiwa mtu wa kuadhiri you can't be ignored hawezi ukapuzwa you can't be assumed hawezi ukapuzwa kabisa you can't be avoided hawezi ukaondokewa and this message is dear to my heart na ujumbe huu ni wa maana sana moyoni mwangu especially to women na haswa kwa wanawake because we know kwa sababu tunajua that things from you know our battle began a long time ago ya kwamba tangia mwanzo unajua vita vyetu vilianza mbali sana ladies you better know that your battle as a woman na wadada ningetaka ujue vita vyako kama mwanamke began a long time ago zilianza kitambo sana way back at the garden of eden pale katika bustani la eden that is where the battle of a woman began hapo ndipo vita vya mwanamke vilianza and you know what happened unajua kilichofanyika between the woman kati ya mwanamke and the devil na shetani and then god himself comes alafu mungu mwenyewe akaja and says akasema i have put yani it's god who put an enmity mungu akasema nimeweka yani ni mungu aliweka uadui kati yako and this woman na huyu mwanamke and our battles began na vita vyetu vikaanza to today mpaka wa leo we are still in a battle bado tuko vitani but thank god for jesus lakini nashukuru mungu kwa yesu i love the song there's a song we sang yesterday napenda wimbo kuna wimbo tulimba jana that victory is my name ya kwamba ushindi ni jina langu that i am more than a conqueror kwamba mimi ni zaidi ya mshindi but that does not mean lakini hiyo haimaanishi that as a woman will not face this battle ya kwamba kama mwanamke hauta utakabiliana na vita hivi. And so even to make that impact. Na hata hivyo kufanya hiyo athari. It's a battle. Ni vita but Jesus is on our side. Lakini Yesu yuko upande wetu. Wherever you are, mahali kokote uliko. Doing whatever you are doing. Ukifanya chochote unachofanya. Whatever circumstance, iwe ni hali ya aina gani, or situation, ama matukio aina gani that you are going through, ambayo unapitia, no you can make impact. Ujue utaweza kuadhiri. I like sharing stories. Napenda kushiriki hadithi. There is a lady in our church. Kuna dada kanisani kwetu. Her name is Karo. Jina lake ni Karo. And about 9 years ago, na kama miaka 9 iliyopita, her and her husband Boniface, yeye na mumewe Boniface, got a baby girl. Wakapata msichana kijana, msichana. After a few months or years, baada ya miezi kadhaa ma miaka, they realized that their girl had cerebral palsy. Uh, wakagundua kwamba mtoto wake wao walikuwa na hiyo hali ya cerebral palsy which in most cases is negligence ambayo mara nyingi huwa ni kwa sababu ya kupuuzwa during childbirth Waka, during childbirth wakati wa kuzaliwa so now here they are kwa hivyo wako hapa sasa they have three other children wako na watoto wengine watatu and now this one na sasa huyu now karo sasa karo could have sat there angeketi pale 
and lived a miserable life. Aishi maisha ya kusononeka. Even being annoyed with God. Hata akiwa amemkasirikia Mungu. Some people told them sue the hospital. Watu wengine wakasema ushtaki hiyo hospitali. But they decided not to sue the hospital. Lakini wakaamua hatutashtaki hiyo hospitali. Today, leo, 9 years later, ma- miaka 9 baadaye, Karo has a foundation. Ah, uh, Karo akona hali ya kusaidia because her daughter is called precious blessing kwa sababu binti wake anaitwa precious blessings so she has a foundation in her daughter's name kwa hivyo ako na hiyo jumuiya ya kusaidia precious blessing foundation inaitwa precious uh, bl- precious blessing foundation i know there is something else foundation i will get the name for you kuna jina hapo nitapata and if I tell you what this woman now is doing, na nikipata kuwaeleza kile huyu mwanamke anafanya, creating awareness, akifanya kutangaza about cerebral palsy, kuhusu cerebral palsy, helping people to understand, kuwasaidia watu kuelewa what is cerebral palsy? Cerebral palsy ni nini? And how can you deal with a child with cerebral palsy? Na unaweza kufanya vipi ukiwa na mtoto wa aina ile? And in society na kuelimisha jumuiya. That these children are not mentally sick. Ya kwamba hao watoto si kwamba wana ugonjwa wa kimawazo. Something happened. Kuna kitu kilichofanyika. She has been in almost all media houses you can think about. Amekuwa katika vyombo vya habari ambavyo unaweza fikiria. She is invited left right center. Yeye huwa alikuwa kulia na kushoto katikati. I think today she is on Faith Today TV. She has been interviewed today. Nadhani leo ako katika hiyo runinga ya imani she Faith holds TV. Food drives. Yeye huenda hu, kuitisha ama ku, ku kuomba msa, msaada food gr- cereals diapers all these things because her foundation kwa sababu foundation yake has over 100 members iko na washirika zaidi ya 100 100 parents wazazi 100 who also have children with cerebral palsy ambao pia wana watoto walio na ile hali ya... and she does these drives in churches na anafanya hayo mambo kanisani i have attended one or two of those events nimehudhuria moja wapo baadhi ya hizo and so she gathered these parents and she has looked for donations of food diapers and all those things na ametafuta msaada wa hizo diapers na hizo chakula but before they get those items lakini kabla hawajapata there is a preacher to preach kuna mhubiri wa kuhubiri and i have seen people getting saved in those food drives nimeona watu wakiokoka katika hizo mikutano karo does not have a platform karo hana jukwaa an altar like this hana kanisa ama ibada ama jukwaa kama hili she doesn't preach like we do. Yeye hahubiri kama sisi. But she's probably making more impact than some of us. Lakini labda anaadhiri kuliko zaidi kuliko sisi. What did she do? Kwa alifanya nini? She took her situation. Alichukua hali yake. She took her circumstances. Akachukua matukio aliyomtukia. And instead of sitting down and crying. Na badala ya kuketi kulia, because I'll tell you it is not easy looking after a child with CP. Kwa sababu sio rahisi kutunza huyo mtoto aliye na hiyo hali ya CP. As she tells us. Kama vile yeye hutuambia. But she took that situation and turned it around. Lakini alichukua hiyo hali akapindua. For the kingdom of God. Kwa ajili ya ufalme wa Mungu. And many now are coming to salvation. Na wengi sasa wanakuja kwa wokovu. Because of that. Kwa sababu ya hiyo. So I'm saying. Kwa hivyo ninasema. Your situation. Hali yako. Don't sit usiketi and cry wanze kulia and complain wanze kulalamika and say you know god he forgot you know he has not forgotten you useme oh mungu alinisamehe hapana hajakusamehe you can turn it around unaweza kuipindua so this message is for all women kwa hivyo ujumbe huu ni wa kila mwanamke because any woman here kwa sababu kila mwanamke hapa any woman here kila mwanamke hapa educated or not educated wewe umeelimika ama haujaelimika married or not married wewe umeolewa hujaolewa children or not children uko na watoto hauna watoto whatever your bank account is stock saying vyo vyote vile account yako ya benki inasema any woman kila mwanamke can make an impact can i hear an amen amen anaweza kuadhiri an ordinary woman mwanamke wa kawaida like you and i kama wewe na mimi when you allow god to use 
use you to use the talents, the gifts, the strengths and everything he has given you. Allow God to take those things and maximize them for his glory. You can make that your prayer. Can you tell the Lord, God, God, maximize me maximize me for your kingdom for your kingdom that could be the biggest prayer you can make hayo ni maombi ambayo ni makubwa zaidi unaweza fanya use me lord nitumie bwana maximize me lord nitumie kabisa bwana for your kingdom kwa ajili ya ufalme wako we have been minimized as women tumepuuzwa kama wanawake you know even the society unajua hata jumuiya i don't know i don't know what it is sijui ni kwa nini but times are changing lakini nyakati za badilika times are changing nyakati zinabadilika that even society itself hata jumuiya yenyewe is realizing that women are powerful inagundua kwamba mwanamke ana nguvu do we have powerful women in the house today je tuna wanawake wa nguvu hapa do we have nyumba? women in the house that are ready to be used by the lord je tuna wanawake ambao wako tayari kutumiwa na bwana you know when the bible says unajua kati biblia inasema that it, at, and adam was not deceived ya kwamba Adamu hakudanganywa it is the woman that was deceived ni mwanamke aliyedanganywa or when the bible says likewise you husbands deal with your wives ama vile biblia inasema hivyo hivyo waume muachugulikie wanawake as weaker vessels kama vyombo dhaifu and many other cultural beliefs na hata imani zingine za kitamaduni they almost make it now look like women we are so our value is so low karibu zifanye kuona kwamba dhamana ya wanamke iko chini sana to remind us lakini kwa hapa kuwakumbusha that we have been made in the image and likeness of god ya kwamba tumeumbwa katika sura na mfano wa mungu in terms of functions and all that we may be different with men katika hali ya utendakazi huenda tuko tofauti na wanaume but when it comes to the issues of the kingdom lakini ikifikia mambo ya ufalme god wants to use you mungu angetaka kukutumia remember at the uh, at the garden of eden kumbuka pale katika bustani la edeni mind today is just to remind you yangu leo ni kuwakumbusha that you are valuable ya kwamba wewe ni wa dhamani that you are valuable ya kwamba wewe ni wa dhamani that you are valuable ya kwamba wewe ni wa dhamani i don't know who I'm speaking to but i'm saying you are valuable sijui nazungumza kwa nani lakini wewe ni wadhamana in god's eyes kwa mbele ya macho ya mungu you are a valuable woman wewe ni mwanamke uliye na dhamana you remember when god was creating the world unajua unakumbuka wakati mungu aliumba ulimwengu he created everything aliumba kila kitu and you'd look and say it is good akaangalia akasema ni nzuri sana day one, day two, it is good siku ya pili akasema ni nzuri day six, it is good siku ya sita akasema ni nzuri and then he rested alafu akapumzika and then at one point alafu kwa wakati fulani he looked at the man akamwangalia mwanadamu and for the first time na kwa mara ya kwanza god God said it is not good Mungu akasema sio vizuri for the first time kwa mara ya kwanza he looked at the man akaangalia mwanamume and said it is not good akasema sio vema that this man is alone ya kwamba huyu yuko peke yake i will make him nitamfanya a help made for him tamfanyia msaidizi and you came na wewe ukaja not wives You came you woman sio nyinyi ama wake wewe wewe mwanamke made the woman to sleep akamsababisha kulala and out of the ribs he formed Eve na kutoka kwa mbavu akamuumba Hawa you are a good thing wewe ni kitu kizuri I don't know what you are whoever told you. Sijui ni nini uliambiwa nani alikwambia. I listen to horror stories. Mimi husikiza hadithi hadithi za kuogofia. I listen to a wife come and tell me. Nasikiza mwanamke anakuja ananiambia. How the wife, the husband tells her you are good for nothing. A woman that has born him two children. Mwanamke ambaye amemzalia watoto wawili mumewe anamwambia wewe ni wabure kabisa. But it does not matter. Lakini haijalishi. What somebody has said about you. Kile mtu amesema kukuhusu. How ugly you are. 
vile wewe haupendezi remind them what the bible says mkumbushe kile biblia inasema i am beautiful mimi ni mrembo eh yes, i'm wonderfully made nimeumbwa kwa njia ya ajabu we have you seen an ugly woman je umemwona mwanamke mwenye sura mbaya kweli she doesn't exist eh ha hayuko no hakuna we are valuable sisi ni watu wa dhamana god we, you know we are god's project unajua sisi ni mradi wa mungu we are god's project sisi ni mradi wa mungu he is the one who said it is not good yeye ndiye alisema sio vyema the man was okay mwanamume alikuwa tu sawa is if they are okay hao wako sawa but god said no lakini mungu akasema la so always remember kwa hivyo daima kumbuka that message was preached one time when we were in mombasa i like to give credit where it's due it Ujum- was preached to us by pastor monica mulinge in mombasa ujumbe huu ulihubiriwa wakati mmoja pale mombasa na mchungaji monica mulinge and i've never forgotten na sitawai sahau that we are god's project ya kwamba sisi ni mradi wa mungu you know do you want to know how powerful you are je ungetaka kujua una nguvu kiasi gani imagine a scenario wewe fikiria hali ama tukio it cannot be an imagination because it can't happen inaweza <laughs> kuwa tu ni wazo haiwezi kuwa asili imagine if all women wewe tafakari kama wanawake wote were killed all women now all wanawake wote wauawe do you know what would happen unajua kungefanyika nini the human race would come to an end kule kuendeleza wanadamu kungefika mwisho kill all women kuwa wanawake wote the human race just a matter of years would end uzao wa wanadamu ungefika mwisho kwa muda tu take all men lakini chukua wanaume wote take all the boys chukua vijana wote kill them uwaue the human race will continue bado ule uzao wa wanadamu ungeendelea you are wondering how unashangaa kwa nini because yesterday kwa sababu jana there is a woman who got pregnant kuna mwanamke alitunga mimba yes Yeah, maybe not yesterday even in the morning labda ata sio jana ni woman who got pregnant kuna mmoja ametunga mimba and today when they are being killed na leo wakiuawa there is another one expectant kuna mwingine ako na uja uzito to twins leo kesho azai mapacha kijana na mstana na ule uzao wa mwanadamu powerful sisi tuna nguvu i came to tell you you are powerful nimekuja kuambia tuna nguvu mbele ya macho ya Mungu you are powerful wewe una nguvu but you are to use your power lakini lazima utumie nguvu zako for the kingdom of god kwa ajili ya ufalme wa Mungu i'm not a feminist mimi sio wa kuchangia kutetea haki a, 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 a women's uh, wanajitanga ati mimi si, activists mimi no. si wa kutetea haki za wanawake no 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 no, no, no. lahasha women men have a place in our lives wanaume wako na nafasi men katika maisha yetu men have a place yetu. in the kingdom of god wana nafasi katika ufalme wa and mungu and we honor them lakini na tunawaheshimu but today is a reminder lakini leo ni kumbukumbu that you are a, you are god's project ya kwamba wewe ni mradi wa mungu time fails me but you know in scripture muda unanipungukia lakini unajua katika maandiko all the women that god Used. wanawake wote ambao Mungu alitumia Miriam, Deborah, Deborah Hannah, Hannah, Esther, Esther Rahab the harot Rahab wale kahaba Ruth the Moabite Ruth mumoabu Mary the mother of Jesus Magdalene Dorcas Maria mama Magdalene Dorcas Hana yule ambaye alikuwa nabii Priscilla Lydia are so many women wadada wadada wengi that God used ambao Mungu alitumia So if that is all that I stand here to tell you Kwa hivyo kama hiyo ndio yote nilisimama hapa kueleza that you are a powerful woman kwamba wewe ni mwanamke mwenye nguvu I can sit down now weza kuketi sasa you go knowing that wewe enenda ukifahamu hiyo a sharp threshing sledge chombo chenye makali ambacho ni kipya and where god is going to use us na mahali mungu anaenda kututumia is out there ni hapo nje in the marketplace hapo kwenye soko huko the marketplace is our altar hapo kwenye jumuiya ndio madhabahu yetu the marketplace is where we will take revival hapo kwenye jumuiya ndipo tutapeleka ufufio apostle selman said that sometime back when he came mtume suleiman alisema And wakati moja alipokuja we must invade the marketplace akasema lazima tuingililie jumuiya mahali sokoni huko nje na kanisa do you know it's a very small percentage that comes to church do you know that unajua ni kiwango kidogo sana huja kanisani very small percentage ni asilimia ndogo sana huja 
the kanisani. The rest of the people are out there. Watu wengi wako huko nje. And they are waiting for us. Na wanatusubiri. The Bible says that the world is waiting. Biblia inasema ulimwengu unasubiri. For the sons of God. Kule wana wa Mungu to manifest. Wapate kudhihirishwa. I'm speaking to you today. Na kunenea siku ya leo. And I'm telling you. Na nakwambia. It is your time to manifest. Ni wakati wako kudhihirika. It is your time to manifest. Ni muda wako wa kudhihirishwa. Refuse the devil to put you down. Kataa kwamba shetani anakuweka chini. Refuse men and women to put you down. Kataa kwamba wake na waume wanakuweka chini. Rise up. Inuka and manifest. Upate kudhihirishwa. There are people who may go to hell. Kuna watu wanaezaenda jehanamu. Because you did not manifest. Kwa sababu haukudhihirika. And that's why I'm saying share your testimonies. Na ndio sababu ninasema shiriki ushuhuda wako. Become a valuable woman. Wewe fanyika mwanamke mwenye dhamana. That's what when I think about that sledge. Hiyo ndio wakati nakumbuka kuhusu hizo chombo. I think of being a person of value. Nafikiria kuwa kuhusu kuwa mwanamke mtu wa dhamana. Value dhamana. If you think about let me just give two examples of two people. Think of a doctor Ufikiria watu wawili mifano miwili. Kumbuka afikiria kuhusu daktari and a cleaner na hata mtu wa kusafisha in a hospital. Hospitali. They are working in the same hospital. Wanafanya kazi katika ofisi ile ile. And I want you to understand the message. Na nataka uelewe ujumbe. Think of a doctor. Fikiria daktari and think about a cleaner. Na ufikiria kuhusu ile mtu ufanya usafi. They all have a role to play. Wote wako na jukumu la kutekeleza. And their roles are all important. Na jukumu zao zote zina umuhimu. The doctor cannot operate in a dirty place. Daktari hawezi ku, hawezi kufanya kazi mahali kuna uchafu. So they all have a role. Kwa hivyo wote wana jukumu. And an important role. Na ni jukumu la umuhimu. I want you to think for a minute. Nataka ufikirie tu kwa dakika. That the cleaner is born again. Ya kwamba yule mtu wa kufanya usafi ameokoka. The doctor is not born again. Daktari hajaokoka. Think about that for 30 seconds. Fikiria hiyo kwa nukta 30. And maybe you will know where I'm going. Na unaelewa mahali ninaelekea. The cleaner is born again. Yule wa kusafisha ameokoka. Loves the Lord. Anampenda Bwana. Goes for all the cashiers. Yeye huhudhuria mikesha yote. The doctor is not born again. Daktari hajaokoka. Now remember we are here on earth. Si tuko hapa. Tuko hapa duniani. We've not yet gone, eh? We are here. Kabla hatujaondoka, tuko hapa and we are here to make impact here. Na tuko hapa kuadhiri hapa hapa. If you think about the two, ukifikiria hao wawili, at least in terms of how things operate here. Angalau kulingana na vile mambo utenda kazi hapa, who is rewarded more? Nani ametunukiwa zaidi? The cleaner in terms of pay inasema malipo the doctor let's agree daktari tukubaliane let's agree tukubaliane they are all doing something how they, they are all doing something wote wanafanya jambo of value yeah, but there is one lakini kuna mmoja who is doing a more valuable thing lakini anafanya jambo ambalo ni la dhamana zaidi separating twins who are co-joined at the back and he separates them anawagawanyisha wa, mapacha walioshikana wawili he will be paid more yeye yeah, analipwa zaidi because he's more valuable kwa sababu dhamana yake iko juu it's time ladies ni muda wa dada We start thinking about the things that God has given us. Tuanze kufikiria mambo ambayo Mungu ametupatia. Let us sharpen those things. Wacha tutie makali haya mambo. Let us you know improve on the skills, the talents and the gifts that God has given us. Tupate kuboresha ujuzi ama taaluma ambazo Mungu ametupatia. Sharp threshing sledge. Chombo kilichotiwa makali cha kupura. With many teeth ikiwa na makali meno mengi a valuable woman mwanamke mwenye dhamana don't just sit there usiketi tu pale and say me my parents didn't take me to school useme tu wazazi wangu hawakunipeleka shule you know you can take yourself unajua unaweza kujipeleka you can take yourself unaweza kujipeleka I've seen people who are in class with their son or their daughter. The daughter who is going to college and she's also going to college nimeona watu wanasoma pamoja na binti yake anaenda
Now a and today there is all to. kind of education, all kind, even if in your house, you can still be in a university in the U.S. Na leo unaweza kuwa shuleni, unaweza kuwa nyumbani kwako na unasoma u... That's just one of the things I'm saying sharpening your skills. Hiyo ni moja wapo ya mambo unayosema tia makali ujuzi wako. The world out there. Maana ulimwengu huko nje. They are looking for results. Wanatazamia matukio ama matokeo. They are looking for solutions. Wanatazamia suluhisho. There are so many problems out there. Kuna shida nyingi huko nje. And they are looking for someone that can come with a solution. Na wanatafuta mtu atakaye kuja na suluhisho. That's all they care. Hiyo ndio wanajali. You are born again? Umeokoka? Results. Onyesha matokeo. Solutions. Suluhisho leta. I'll finish with there is a scripture I hope I can get it. Nataka kumalizia hii kuna andiko natumai nitalipata. It's in Ecclesiastes I'm now reading. Iko kwenye kitabu cha Muhubiri 10:10. It says, inasema, if an axe is dull, kama shoka halina makali, and its edge is unsharpened, wala hakijatnolewa, more strength is needed. Nguvu zaidi zinahitajika. But skill will bring success. Lakini hekima hulete fanaka. A dull, an, an axe, a dull axe. Ama chuma isio na makali. My prayer. Ombilangu. Is that I will not be a dull axe. Ya kwamba sita kuwa chuma isio na makali. But I can be an, an, an axe that has been sharpened. Lakini nitakuwa shoka ambalo limetiwa makali. But the sharpening it's you to do. Lakini kule kutia makali ni wewe utafanya. For skill brings success. Kwa sababu mawazo ama ujuzi unalete fanaka. Even when the temple was being built. I don't have time to get into that. When the temple was being built. Wakati hekalu lilikuwa linajengwa, Moses was given very clear instructions. Musa alipewa maagizo yaliyowazi of the kind of men to bring to build. Ya watu atakaoleta kujenga. And the Bible says they were skilled. Na Biblia inasema walikuwa na ujuzi. And it goes on to say what they were skilled in. Na inaendelea kueleza walikuwa na ujuzi upande gani. So even God, hivyo hata Mungu, he is looking for men and women. Anatazamia wake na waume who can do an excellent job ambao wanaweza who have a skill walio na ujuzi i don't know if you have heard this statement sijui kama umesikia usemi huu there are people like you find somebody has a business unakuta mtu ako na biashara and they'll say i've heard it so many times sometimes it pains me you'll hear this person saying utasikia huyu mtu akisema I can't employ born again, born again person. Have you heard that? Siwezi kuajiri mtu ambaye ameokoka. Umesikia hiyo? Even here I know there are business people. Hata hapa najua kuna wanabiashara. And they say I cannot employ somebody who is born again. Na huwa unasema uwezi kuajiri mtu ambaye ameokoka. Why? Kwa nini? Lazy. <laughs> they are lazy. Ati ni wavivu. We need to change that narrative. Lazima tubadilishe usemi huo. That when somebody is looking for someone to employ wa vile kwamba mtu akitafuta mtu wa kuajiri the pick on a born again a believer watatafuta mtu ambaye ameokoka muaminiu and when the believer gets there na huu mwana muaminiu akifika pale through their work kupitia kazi yao through their excellence of their work kupitia ubora wa kazi yao he will influence other people in that office atadhiri watu wengine katika hiyo office and they will want to know about him na watataka kujua kumuhusu and right there in, in, in his office na hapo hapo kwenye office he will draw many to christ ataleta wengi kwa Kristo Ladies sharpen your axes Wanawake mtie makali shoka zenu Amen Amina Yes I don't know which is your area Sijui eneo lako ni lipi But in your area Lakini katika eneo lako Musicians waimbaji Sharpen your voices, your skills. Tia makali ujuzi wenu, Don't sauti tell us zenu. the Bible says make a joyful noise to the Lord. Usituambie Biblia inasema fanyeni kelele za furaha kwa Bwana. Of course I'm not speaking to these ones. I'm speaking you have somebody by there commented yesterday and said your voices are the best. Yes, Kuna mtu alisema 
Muna somebody told, I'm not now bragging. Somebody told me. Kuna mtu alisema hivyo. And said the voices of that choir. Kasema sauti za hao waimbaji. It's like they went picking the best. That's what she was saying. Na nani mlichukua bora you bora. Beautiful voices. So you know I'm not speaking about. Una sauti nzuri. So sharpen your axis. Let us be useful in the kingdom of God. Are we together ladies? Wadada tuko pamoja. Bado mnanipenda. Yeah. Eh? Sana. Sija nini? Sija guaruza mtu. Ama ni guaruze tu. Hata ni kiguaruza ni sawa. Ni sawa. Si tunafaidika. Yes. And now if I don't tell you, who will tell you? Nisipo wambia nani atawambia? Ni wambia ako? Yeah. Laziness is not our portion. Uvivu siyo sehemu yetu. There is that story that is given about this young boy and this man. Kuna hadithi nawe peano kusu kijana na mtu huyo. They would go, they were cutting trees. Walikuwa na kata miti. And the young man is cutting the tree. Na huyo kijana na kata kata kukata mti. From morning, he just went on 10, 12, 1 p.m. he's just cutting. Kutoka asubui saane satano anendelea tu kukata. Then you'd look at the man. Alafu walikuwa na muangali ule mzee. The man would cut. Then he would go away. Then he comes back. Even take some water. He still, the young man is still cutting. And they went on like that until evening. And the next day. But at some point. This old man. He had. What do you say now when you cut a tree it falls? Feren. What, what do you say? Fell. He had fell. He had fell many trees. That is not mingi. He had fell many trees. He had, he, had had miti mingi. he had fallen many trees. What? What? He had felled. Felled. Iyo. Many trees. Than the young man. Miti mingi and the young man was wandering. Me, I have been cut from 8 to 5. I'm, I don't take a break. Mimi nimekuwa pale pale kutoka and this young man, as... every one hour he goes, every one hour he goes. Na huye bada alisali moja, alikuwa naenda. So he decided to ask the man. Oiva kauliza huye mtu. What is your secret? What is your secret? Siri yako ni nini? And the old man told him. Na huye mzea kamuambia. When you see me going away. Ukiona ni kienda. I'm going to sharpen my axe. Mimi huenda kutia makali shoka langu. So when I come back. Evo ni kirudi. Just once and the tree falls. Ni mara moja mtu unanguka. Busyness is, is not it. Bibili, abiyashara. Busy, being busy. Kuwa na shuguli, is siyo not hiyo. it. Siyo hiyo. So we, we may not be lazy. When I had to na shuguli. Maybe we are so busy. Labda tuna shuguli mingi. Like this young man. Kama huyu kijana. But our access are down. Lakini shoka zetu hazina makali. Women have come to tell you there is a call. Wanawake nimekuja kuambia kuna mwitu. It is our time to arise. Ni muda wetu kuinuka. It is our time to arise. Wakati wetu kuinuka. Tell that lady because I'm done. Tell that lady you are seated with. It is time to arise. Ambie huyo dada ulie kaa karibu na ye ni wakati wa kuinuka. It is time to arise. Ni wakati wa kuinuka. Where God has called you. Mahali mungu wa mekuita. Where God has placed you. Mahali mungu wa mekueka. With what he has given you. Na kili alicho kupatia. It is time to arise. Ni wakati wako wa kuinuka. Do not listen to the lies of the enemy Usisikize uongo wa shetani and keep quiet na upate kunyamaza and sit down upate kuketi arise inuka and i know god will use you na najua mungu atakutumia amen amen have you been blessed je umebarikiwa will you do that utafanya hivyo amen amen let me ask us to arise even as we invite the choir there is a song I just like, um, there is a song I love. Kuna wimbo ni napenda. And maybe you hear me sing it all the time, but it's because I love it. Na, labda unasikia ni kiwimba maramingi ni kwa sababu na upenda. We'll just sing for a second and then Pastor Eunice will come or whoever is leading. Tutaimba tu kidogo alafu kiongozi ya takuja. A song of surrendering to the Lord. Ni wimbo wakujia chilia kwa obwana. Where you are telling the Lord. Mahali unamuambia obwana. I am here. Niko hapa. Use me. Ni Nitumie. Maximize me. Nitumie Amen. kwa For your own glory. Zaidi kwa jili ya utukufu wako. In the name of Jesus Christ. Katika jina la Yesu Christo. Let us surrender to the Lord. Wacha tujia chilie kwa mwana. In the name of Jesus. To Jesus I surrender
You brought us here, Lord, with an assignment. There are good works that you have put ahead of us, O Lord. We pray this morning for your grace. Nema yako. For your strength, Kwa nguvu zako. for your wisdom, yako. to do that which you have called us to do. Ufanya kile umetuite, kufanya In the name of Jesus Christ, jina la Yesu use us, O oh Lord, with everything that is within us, O oh Lord. Yote yetu use bwana. it for your glory. Uitumie kwa utukufu Our wako. circumstances, Na hata our battles, O oh Lord, Hali zetu bwana. turn them around Jehovah. We your glory in the name of Jesus. Have your way in our lives. In the name of Jesus. We thank you and we bless you. In the name of Jesus. Come on, just celebrate. Hallelujah. here to be equipped. Every speaker that will come here, they are coming to equip you. My prayer is speak all the tools. Pick every word and go use it to do the work of the Lord. Jesus is coming very soon. He is coming very soon. Than it was before. And we will have to give an account of everything that we did while we were here. I pray that on that day, you and I will hear these beautiful words. Welcome. Good and faithful servant. Tumishi muaminifu mzuri. Be found faithful. Ukuwe muaminifu. Amen. of your wife. Thank you for the vessel of honor our mommy you have used to God. We speak a great Jehovah Father, great grace upon her, O God. Continue to fill her vessel more and more, O God. In Jesus' name as you continue to be together with us. Amen, amen and amen. amen. And we give God all the glory. Amen. God bless you so much. I told you we are in for a good moment. Thank you so much, our mommy, for allowing God to speak to us. And also to speak through you. That you, are, you have to be a woman of impact. Wherever you are, just look for your platform. And we are channeling that in those just any hauri. We have to have skills. Wherever we are, we are going to sharpen our skills. 
Uh, they you say that raising your game ukaiweze, ukaweze kuinua, and so even yeah. unto us the DOF even unto us the DOF Ata kwetu, mand, wa 2024 wa in, we are raising up our game yeah. we are raising yeah. up our game yeah. we are going to another level yeah. in Jesus name yeah. amen yeah. and amen hallelujah I have yeah. an announcement here because we'll be having a break after this We'll be having a break after this. And after the break, we are going to have a moment of you know questions and answers. And there is that question that you really feel, you know, if I'll get somebody, you know, to answer me this. Then that is your opportunity. As we go out for a break, just bring your you and just write your question. Come and drop it. It here. We are going to pick it and sort it out. Then after break, we are going to have that moment of answering, you know, our questions. And to the glory of God. Amen, amen. And we are going on well. And our time is good and we give God all the glory. And so for this moment of time, I would like to welcome our own Reverend Eve. Me. So please with the joy of the Lord Na kwa mbaraka, Let us stand bwana. up together Tusimame pomocha. As we welcome our mama Tunapoleta mama yetu Reverend uh, Alice Rev Kimani Reverend Alice Kimani Reverend Alice Kimani Reverend Alice Kimani Cool. 